Working with blend modes can make your videos more creative, more unique, and give them a style. Using blend modes, you can create overlays too, which can make one clip flow a lot better into the next. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite and my most used techniques when it comes to working with blend modes, including how to create a double exposure. And if you're new here, I'm Allie, and Will and I release weekly-ish content for video creators. In the upcoming weeks, we'll be sharing videos about how we prep for big video production shoots. We'll also be sharing some tutorials for creative editing tips in Premiere Pro. If that's something you're into, subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop. Let's hop into Premiere and check this out. Okay, so we're in Premiere and I have the clips that I'm gonna be using to work with blend modes and overlays here on my timeline. We have a bunch of different blend mode options here. The ones that I show you are the ones that work best for me and the style I'm going for in most of my videos. But at some point, I recommend that you go through all of them and just test them out to get a better idea of all the looks you can create with blend modes. Okay, so let's check out these two shots for a fitness video. We have this first shot of someone doing yoga, and the next shot is a woman holding a surfboard. I want the first yoga shot to flow a bit better with the surfer shot, so I'm gonna grab a few light leaks that Will made, and if you want a free pack of these 4K light leaks, let me know in the comments below because we're gonna give away a few packs to some people. Okay, so I'll drag these two light leaks onto track two. Let's check out what they look like before we apply a blend mode. Okay, so we've got this purple light leak and this whitish blue light leak. And I want them to feel like they're actually a part of the footage. A great way to do this is to add these light leaks over top of the clips and use the blend mode screen. So I'll select the first one, go up to effect controls, click on the blend mode drop down menu, choose screen. I'll select the second light leak, use screen as well. Okay, and I'm liking the first one. The second flare is a little too bright for me at the beginning here, so I'll press Command D on my keyboard to cross dissolve so the light leak fades in more subtly. I think this light leak would look better starting a little bit earlier too. Okay, let's check this out. Nice, okay, so using these light leaks helps make these different clips feel more cohesive and work together a little bit better and gives these clips a little bit more of a unique look. Next, with this sunset clip, I'm gonna add text on screen. I'll grab my text tool and type the word create. Just gonna adjust the size of the text here to make it bigger. I will center align it. I really like having my text on screen blend with the clip underneath it for things like travel videos or when I'm working with shots of beautiful scenery like this one. So making sure that the text layer is selected on our timeline, let's go to the blend mode drop down menu and choose overlay which lets the sunset clip show through the text a little bit. And I find using the blend mode overlay for text titles on screen like this makes the shot more visually engaging. Next, we're gonna create a double exposure by having this mountain time lapse show in a person's face, which we can do in Lumetri Color in Curves. You can do a lot with curves, like help correct bad exposure for one thing. And if you wanna learn more about working with curves, let me know in the comments below. For this particular project, what we're gonna do is brighten the light parts of the clip and darken the darker parts to give the clip more contrast. This effect works best when there's a clear difference from the background and the foreground. This line affects the luminance of our clip. I'm gonna add a point here at the top and another one closer to the bottom of this diagonal line. And as I move the bottom points down and inward, you can see that the shadows and the darker parts of the clip become more prominent. I'll drag the top point of this line in and up, which makes those bright areas even more prominent. So now our clip has a good amount of contrast. And now when I go to blend modes and choose multiply, we can see the mountain time lapse in the areas of her face that are bright. And one more thing I wanna do to make this look a little cooler is select the mountain clip underneath. I'll go to effect controls and make a keyframe for the scale at 100 at the beginning of the clip. Go to the end of the clip and scale that to 145. And let's check this out. So that mountain time lapse is scaling bigger as the clip goes on, awesome. Okay, next, we have this clip here of these two wolves, and the wolves are darker, contrasting against the sort of grayish sky behind them. So we'll create another double exposure look using a slightly different approach. Instead of having the background clip show up in the white, like we just saw, we'll have it instead show up in the darker parts of our wolf clip. Let's select our wolf clip, go to effect controls, blend modes, and again, we're gonna work with screen. Now we have the sky showing through a bit everywhere, but we want it to just show through the wolves. So let's use curves again, make those bright areas even brighter and darken the darker parts. Let's check this out. 
And now we have this double exposure of wolves with a starry sky showing through them on a white background. And there you go. Those are some ways that you can use blend modes in Premiere to make your video stand out and be more creative and unique. Thanks for checking this video out. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up to let us know. Subscribe for the latest from us and we'll see you in another video. Thank you.